Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everywhere you are in the world. Happy to you all. And this is a beautiful day the Lord has made. On behalf of the founder and general overseer, wife and team, we are glad you're here with us and welcome to Holy Ghost Deliverance in Christ Ministry International, aka Paul L. Baker Ministries. Our mission theme is Jesus Finish Work Movement. And our mission is to preach to all nations about the good news, which is Christ Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. Indoors and outdoors meetings are our main goals for reaching the unreachable people. Church planting and making leaders is all included in the package. A place where everyone is welcome to meet God and make their supplications through Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Our monthly and weekly programs Every first Sunday of every month, we have Holy Communion, and every Sundays we have online live stream services at 11 o'clock a.m. And Fridays, we have Holy Ghost Hour, Deliverance, and Baptism with Holy Communions at 5.30 p.m. Sub Holy Ghost Hours. You can find us, uh, us on podcast anytime. We are open anytime, any hours. And on Sub Holy Ghost Hours, you will find experience and practicals, cost of being a disciple, our offices hours are Monday through Friday. 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. For now, all our programs are online. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, and more. Please, our followers, if you are led to be a support to our mission, you can follow the link online. If you want to contact us, please contact us through the phone number plus one two five three two two nine zero five five six and on our email address at holy ghost d two zero zero five at gmail dot com. Please help me welcome Paul L. Baker. And please do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. Happy Sunday and thank you all.
amen and amen and amen. People of God, it's another moment, it's another hour, it's another session, and happy Sunday. We are always glad to be here with the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus. We believe you are not watching us by mistake, by accident. Once more, help me as we are here to welcome our partner, the sweet comforter, the sweet Holy Ghost. Sweet Holy Ghost, we reverence you, we welcome you in this place. Have your way in our life. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Amen and amen. Good morning again. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are watching us from, according to your geographical location, your country, your nation, we say shalom. On behalf of my family again, we are glad that we are here with the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Rest assured that it has come to the knowledge, your issue, your cry has been heard unto the one that created the heaven and earth. Even the devil knows that your time for you to be manifested, for you to be known, has come. Let us pray. Our Father Yahweh, our brother Jesus, we thank you for this morning, this afternoon, this evening. We commit our every entire moment, vision, dreams into your hands. We are here not because our works or we know how to talk, but we are here because of you. You taught it fit. You asked your father upon your completion his assignment he gave you that you will not leave us empty handed. You will not leave us without giving us protection. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. You are special. We thank you for everything. Take all the place. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. We don't want people to see us, but to see you. We commit our entire listeners, our followers, into your hands. Their nations and their leaderships. You know them better than we do know them. Leadership is of you. For this reason, every country that is crying unto you for justice, for peace, for deliverance, we commit their cry unto you. We commit their deliverance unto you. You have power over every leadership here on earth. Let your will, let your perfection be stored upon nations now. And let your mercy reign in Jesus' mighty name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. This session is open. Amen and Amen. Our dear listeners, it's another moment, it's another hour, 
is another Sunday for you to understand what is happening when it comes about the kingdom of Yahweh and his gospel which is his son we encourage you to allow the Holy Spirit to help you understand the things of spiritual things if we are speaking against or contrary to the truth the gospel about the kingdom of God you are able to know you are able to discern and he will tell you everything too many fake too many lied too many false prophets are all over the place we don't have control over it because it is the spoken and the proclamation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ but because he knows that we are living in the wicked world because he knows that the devil the accuser has come he gave us the same wisdom the same power that was on him while he was here in the form of human being that he able to overcome every counterfeit that came his way so please allow yourself to be guided to be filled with the Holy Spirit you don't need me you don't need man you need the Holy Ghost I am a human being. I will override the Holy Spirit. The only thing will be on me is the consequence. You didn't get it. God didn't put barricade around Adam. Maybe you will get it this way. He didn't put Angel Michael or Angel Gabriel or all the ministry angel to be around Adam 24 hours guiding him that he will not do or manifest his free will in him. God gave him warning and the consequence came on him when he override God. So you are human being. Just because God said you are like him he has given you the freedom he has given you the free will he has given you the authority it's up to you so man has the right to override the will of god man has the right to override the holy spirit but the consequence is better than you not to override god so that is why this ministry is always encouraging you another true ministry to rely on the Holy Spirit totally. He will give me words. If I'm not careful, I will twist it because of the pressure of Satan, his intimidation, his fear. That is why you need the Holy Spirit when he comes about the gospel of Jesus and the kingdom of Yahweh. Nyamabla, ge valo uma, ge sene o velo uwe. Nyago nengo, ge wo, ma ye, ge lube lo nyama, konge nyakwe ve uwe, ngo la ye, ifo uma. I will longer fire equipment. 
Gafaye pe Yesu Emanen ewe Endenge kekema Aponen Asenyeye Aulu olope Ekwe ma Me people them Agree to na again Una listen to The Holy Spirit Na e no more go able for guide una for le una no go Satan in way. I don't give myself for Papa God in work. And in speaking, Jesus they inside me for my give una the world. So when I hacking, when I listen to the Holy Spirit more than the way. If I do anything, we not to so the Holy Ghost tell me, he go tell una. Brethren, it's another moment, it's another hour, it's another Sunday. By the grace of God, you will hear the translation in Swahili by special and wonderful family. Sweetheart. Matthew chapter 10 verse 26 to 30 stay blessed as we read kitabu cha matayo mtakatifu bado tuko matayo mtakatifu uh, mlango wa kumi mstari wa shina sita mpaka wa thalathini basi msiwaogope kwa maana hakuna neno lililo sitirika ambalo halijafunuliwa wala lililo fichwa ambalo halitajulikana ni wambialo ninyi katika giza lisemeni katika nuru na msikialo kwa siri liubirini juu ya nyumba msiwaogope wa uwao mwili wasiweze kuiua na roho afadhali muogopeni yule awezaye kuangamiza mwili na roho pia katika jehana je mashomoro wawili hawauzwi kwa senti moja wala hata mmoja haanguki chini isipokuwa baba yenu lakini ninyi hata nywele za vichwa vyenu zimehesabiwa zote amen amen it is well thank you very much sweetheart i will take it from the last verse we stop as usual and we move to the end of our study for today. He said, It is enough for the disciple to become like his teacher and the slave like his master. If they have called the head of the house baseball. How much more will they deframe the members of his household? Verse 26. He said, Do not be afraid of them, for nothing is hiding that will not be revealed. And nothing is secret that will not be made known. 27. He said, What I say to you in the dark, he said, Tell in the light. And what is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the housetop. Do not be afraid of those who will kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Instead, fear the one. Who is able to destroy both soul and body. 
in hell. 29. Aren't you two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet, not one of them fell in the ground apart from your father's will. Verse 30 for today. He said, even all the hairs on your head are number. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus. My dear saints, my dear beloved, I know how it is difficult and how it is challenge when it comes about the tax that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has given to us. It is not a child's play. Do you know how gripped do you know how attached sin has been attached to humanity? Because sin is something that it hits, he kills, he destroys your conscience. Because when he attacks your conscience, you are not left with anything but to yield to whatever he tells you. That is why the title says, Power of Beliefs and Faith. I don't know where your source of power is coming from. We have two unseen power here on earth. We have the greater power and we have the lesser power. The greater power is always leading you to the place of assurance, liberations, deliverance and salvations. And the lesser power is giving you, oh, don't worry, you are fine. Oh, don't worry. God knows very well. He hides things from you. He knows that you will understand things like this. That is why he didn't want you to understand. He, he is suffering you because he knows the day you be like him is done. That is the language of the lesser power. The lesser power is giving you comfortability in your wretchedness, in your sin, in your arrogancy. He is twisting, he is sugarcoating. He is telling you it is comfortable. He can even show you men and women that are in the Bible. My dear believers, my dear saints, Satan didn't come to go against your rich, your prosperity, or anything here on earth. Satan didn't come to go against your book that you have written, or your novels, or your materials. That's not his agenda. But he came to go against the book of life, the Holy Bible. That is why he is so crafty, he was so organized to use men and women to twist the word of God to you. 
with persecutions, with attack, with intimidations, with hunger, with sickness, with restriction. Because that is his agenda here on earth. We saw how he operated, how it twisted in the Garden of Eden, how he was successfully able to plant the evil seed among humanity. That blames begin to show up. That hiding begin to show up. And the effect of his seed that he sowed, it is right at your door in your nations, in your family, everywhere you go, the seed that Satan planted and sowed, he's been growing, multiplying every day. And he has so able to go according to his wicked plan that he is copying, he is imitating anything that is about God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. For those of you that thinks you are so carried away by good speaker. Oh, Shantori Hibaki Shantaraba. Satan, their master, he's a speaker. He know how to speak. And he know the time and when to attack you. He never attacked Jesus. He never showed up in the life of Jesus when Jesus was in highly in need. Jesus was hungry. Oh, Shanori Hima. Jesus felt hungry. Jesus was thirsty. Jesus needed food. So you are. That is why what we are reading he said the master and the slave, they are all the same. He said, whatever happens to the master, the same thing applies to the servant. Jesus was in need so badly that he needed comfort. He needed answer just the way we are here on earth for so many Men and women have fallen. Yes, waiting on God is not a bed of rosary. Waiting on God is not a comfortable place. Waiting on God is not a place that I will say is a pleasant situation. The Bible said the children of Israel suffered tortured, beaten, molested, abused by their wicked masters. The Bible says when Pharaoh arose that he knew not Joseph. I don't know how many powers that is working against you that knew not your ancestors that knew not the work that our ancestors did the covenant the rejection the suffering the batteredness that they went through for us today to have liberation my dear body of christ my dear nations, my dear kingdom-minded people, I have a good news for you. The Bible said, God was watching, God had, God saw. It might look like God didn't see, but a day came, the hour came, the moment came that God chose 
a deliverer, a human being that looks like you, that talks like you, that knows everything. I don't know if you are that man, if you are that woman, you are watching me. Or you are listening to this message, whatever platform you are able to connect to this ministry. I don't know where your geographical location is. I have an assurance for you. Jesus said, do not be afraid of them. Speak the truth and your life will be saved. It might look harder. It might look intimidating. But the time has come. That there is no power that can stop the move, the plan of God for your nation, for your continent, or for your family. I don't know how long it took. But the time has come. The same way they came with the word of God to divide your nation, to divide your family, to divide people. The same way God is using the true word of God that liberation, deliverance, is coming to your continent. The wave has begun to spark. My dear saints, innocent blood are crying unto the ears of Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, there is a betrayer. He said, but woe unto that man that will betray the Son of God. Nations, continent, innocent leaders, we are killed, we are battered because they want liberations for their nations, they want liberation for their country. Their blood is speaking, their blood is fighting. Let me give you a warning and a warning again which is scriptural. Just like one time Novelli said, may he so rest in peace, Chino Achebe, in the book of Things Fall Apart, he used one very renowned called Okonko. He said, do not be here. Your hand in that innocent ball that will lead him to death. And that was Okunko. Whenever an innocent blood is being killed, he speak. God deliverance always connected to your ancestors. Before you came, there were men and women that had gone through. They made cry. They made covenant to Yahweh. He said, Moses, he said, the God of your ancestors has appeared. He's speaking to you. We might not 
known. We might not seen. Moses never saw Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But God saw, God had, God was there when they were making cry, they made covenant, they built altars, they built altar to God, that God, this building, this altar is being dedicated to you on behalf of my family, on behalf of my nation, on behalf of my continent. And God said, for sure, I have come down. To deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Africa continent, the time has come. You leaders that are in governance, that you think you are being put there to betray, to sell, to torture. The people that God has entrusted into your hands. The same way they empowered you. The same way they deceived you. The same way you are compromising. The resources. Against the will of people that God has put into your hands. Thus says the Lord, he has heard their cry. Innocent leaders, blood are weeping, are crying, are gnashing. I give a warning. Be careful who you kill. Be careful who you bear your hands into his dead. He might not be in the physical, but his blood is powerful. Do you know why the blood of Jesus was so powerful? Do you know why Jesus, do you know why Yahweh needed the blood to be shed in the Old Testament? He said, somebody have to die and deliverance and liberation have to show up. Let me give you a deeper revelation. Anytime an innocent blood is being shared in a nation. The battle become more gravity. The battle become more intense. And there is no peace for you that bear in the dead of an innocent. So if you are that leader, it is simple to re-switch you didn't get it. It is simple to say, okay, it was done this way. But there is a second chance, just as God gives second chance to humanity. The cry has gone in the ears. Continent are crying that enough is enough. The continent of Africa, he said, no, we have been labored. We have been profiled. Enough is enough. They have nowhere they can complain. Nobody listen to them. But they had a way and they had their ancestors' blood speaking on their behalf. Blood have to be shed and deliverance have to come. Jesus said, he said, woe unto that man. Any innocent blood that was dead, that was killed, it speak. We that are alive, we don't need to fight any human being in the physical. But go into your prayers. Build your altars. Speak to God. Our warfares are not carnal, but of spiritual. They use the word of God to divide you. Use the word of God to bring liberation to you. That is why Jesus hated religious activities. Religious skill. 
He didn't get it. Jesus was sold. Jesus was killed. Yes, it was prophesied that it has to be so. But woe unto you that bear hand in his dead. Wherever you are, you that servant, speak the truth. It is scriptural. The children of Israel were in exile. But God was using them to speak deliverance for the land of Israel. For the land of the promised land. My dear saints, it is simple. The people of Africa said, we need a restart. It's just simple. You don't need to fight them. You don't need just go on the dialogue. I said, okay. Now you guys' eyes has been open. Let's work it out. Just simple negotiation. You say, okay. Let's work this deal out. And let there be a free flow. That nobody will point fingers who is who and who is not who. Just simple negotiation. Simple dialogue. God hates ugly. The continent of Africa is being blessed with mineral resources that will help your nations. But for too long, they have been called, labeled the most poorest continent of the world because of corruptions and the corruption has where it's been connected revelations the truth let me read the last scripture again and we're done makori mm -mm -mm -mm. Shete kari hiba. Makari hiba sotori hiba. He said, verse 26, he said, Do not be afraid of them, for nothing is hiding that will not be revealed. And nothing is secret that will not be made known. For too long, the blames. was put on our leaders yes but we didn't know what type of pressure what type of intimidations what type of attack they were under thank god for the truth thank god for revelations thank god for revival the children of israel they said god how long how long we have seen the written how you rescue our ancestors we saw we had innocent blood is speaking i don't know and i will say it again before i round up i have said it several times that the move of Yahweh is so getting bigger. Yes, some of us, we are in this foreign land. Yes, there are a false prophet. There are a false agenda from the kingdom of darkness giving you hardiness. But please, America, United States of America, it's time for you to establish a better relationship with nations. Not enemy anymore. Some of us, we are here, we are grateful. Mm. We will not make an enemy. The Bible says the dreams, the visions of Joseph was manifested in a foreign land. 
we are in the foreign land. We will not want to be ungrateful to this land. That's why we are speaking the truth. Friendship. Restart method. And no more blame. No more pointy fingers. The end of this message. He wants to give your life to Jesus. He wants to reset your covenant with him. He is ready. He is active to hear your cry. Say, Jesus, call your full name. Say, I surrender. Have your way. Have mercy upon me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Power belongs to Jesus. Power belongs to the Holy Spirit. As his father has given him the authority being invested in me. But my father Yahweh, in the name of your son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit, may you give boldness receive the holy ghost for boldness receive the anointing of the holy spirit receive the deliverance receive the touch receive his healing whatever that is pushing you that is contrary to yahweh jesus and the holy spirit i bind it i rebuke it with the blood of jesus and by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Receive the grace. Receive his mercy. Receive his anointing. Seal and settle. Amen and amen. Thank you. We love you. Jesus loves you. The end of this session. Happy New Week. Please subscribe, like, and share. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry with your resources, you are welcome and thank you in advance. We love you. Jesus loves you. Amen. Bye-bye for now.